Hey everybody, it's Christy. I'm back and I'm going to do another hair tutorial. As you can see, I didn't set my hair last night and that's because we're doing an updo. The updo that we're doing today is inspired by the beautiful Maria Montez. So we're going to begin. First thing we're going to do is going to brush out our hair. All right, now that you are tangle free, we are going to start by sectioning our hair. Grab your sectioning comb, going up to the top of the scalp, and down. And this section can be, this section is really up to you with how big or how small you want it because this is going to be a braid and the braid is, needs to go across your head. It's gonna be partly a crown braid. So first thing I'm gonna do now that it's sectioned is I'm gonna grab some pomade on my fingers and run it through especially at the ends, and then I'm going to spray. Now, we're just going to braid. And for me, I find it easiest to braid upwards. So when you're braiding your hair, keep the hair going at this lovely angle so that it can make it to the other side of your head. So let's get started. All right, so this side's all braided, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this braid by gently tugging on it to make it a little bit wider. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just pulling, pulling, pulling all the way down. And I'm gonna do it again. And you can do this as few or as many times as you want. So now it looks a little bit wider. Wonderful. Now let's move on to our other side. I'm actually going to start a little bit farther back on my head so that we can leave this in the picture. She has this front part kind of smooth. So, sectioning. And I'm just going to tuck this front section of hair out of the way. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. So, here we go. All right, now this side's braided and we have this, this. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start placing our braids. So I'm gonna take it up and across my head. My hair's long enough that I can tuck this braid behind my ear. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm taking out my little hair elastic and I'm gonna pin this braid in place. All right, and it is where I want it, so I'm gonna leave that there. So yep, as you can see, I just took it up and all the way over, and it's behind my ear. And we're gonna do the same thing with this braid. First, making sure that our bang front section is the way you want it. So I'm just smoothing it out, taking this braid up, and then taking out this hair elastic, and then I'm going to pin this one behind my ear as well. Now we have our two braids and if you want them connected, I usually do when I do crown braid styles. I like to put one small, discreet looking bobby pin to anchor them together. I like the way that that looks. So here we go. That's how that looks. And you can pin other things that are sticking up like this lovely thing over here. All right, and that took care of that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna, with the remainder of our hair, I'm going to twist it, so taking the section, twisting it, and the same over here, twisting it, and I'm going to do a Gibson roll. So let me face the side. Have our hair kind of in a ponytail, 
and I'm twisting it, twisting it, and then I'm simply rolling it up. So this is how it's going to look in the back. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, you just take it and twist it into a long formation. Now I'm just going to pin it in place. This is a great hairstyle for hot summer days like we are shaping up to have this year. So I hope that you get lots of use out of it this summer. Pinning your hair any place that it does not feel secure. Okay, so here's what we have. And now we get to spray this style is very easy very sleek and smooth and it like I said hopefully it'll keep you cool in the summer and now in the photo Maria Montez didn't have any bows or flowers or anything like that in her hair however I love to accessorize and put decorations in my hair so today we're gonna do a lot of flowers like think Rapunzel flowers. That's my jam. So I'm going to be putting in a ton of flowers. I don't remember where I got most of these. Some of these were gifted to me. So I'm just going to put them in. I'm going to put them in behind the braid so that it draws even more attention to that. However, I do know where I got these. I got these from Claire's. They were like $5. I'm going to put this one actually right here. Because a great way to use your flowers is to cover up any little areas of your hair that you don't like or any problem spots. And I had a little issue like a sticking up hair that I just couldn't get down right there and I'm gonna put this one over here hmm and I have this giant one of three this one <laughs> it's kind of funny um I had this one as part of a dance costume for my uh, ballet class when I was in high school and it was part of the costume so it holds very sentimental memories for me. I love dance. It's a big part of who I am so I'm gonna add this today. I think I'm gonna do this one behind. So right next... Hmm. Now I'm doubting the placement of that orange one. I'm going to try taking out the orange one and subbing in the giant one of three flowers. See how I like it any better. All right, let's do that instead. Actually, I might move this one too. All right, 
everybody there you have it our very very easy perfect for summer high humidity Maria Montez inspired look with a ton of hair flowers I hope it was helpful I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time as always you can find me on Instagram at pen Ooh, I'm shaking things <laughs> pin up Disney princess and I'll see you later bye